student now the next topic in this chapter we will study that is heavy water the last topic of this chapter that is heavy water d2 till now we have studied about water and now the last that is heavy water now in heavy water we have to study the preparation and chemical properties of heavy water now first we we'll see the preparation preparation of heavy water now what is how the heavy water is prepared now there are two methods by which the heavy water is prepared the first method that is exhaustive exhaustive electrolysis exhaustive means repeated repeated electrolysis of water electrolysis of water heavy water is prepared by exhaustive that is by continuous and prolonged electrolysis of water ordinary water give rise to the formation of heavy water and this was prepared by the scientist ure in 1932 Today in 1932, that is, you have seen the electrolysis chamber. So many electrolysis chambers are joined. So in each and every step after the electrolysis, in the water, the remaining the residual water, the concentration of heavy water is increased. And the last, at the last, what is remaining in the water? That is heavy water remains. Whereas hydrogen and oxygen gas get separated out from the electrolysis process so it is obtained by the repeated or exhaustive electrolysis of water second is by fractional distillation of by fractional distillation of water fractional distillation of water if we do the fractional distillation of water then we get the different fraction of water and heavy water you know the fractional distillation is done when there is a difference in the boiling point what is the boiling point of water boiling point of water that is 100 degree celsius and boiling point of heavy water d2 that is 101.4 degree celsius so as you see the difference in the boiling point they can be separated by the fractional distillation and the last that it is obtained as a by product and in an uh, preparation of ammonium nitrate fertilizer so last third it is obtained as a by product in third is as a by product in ammonium nitrate fertilizers they are obtained as by product in ammonium nitrate fertilizer the preparation of ammonium nitrate fertilizers the heavy water is obtained as by product so these are the third method three method by which the heavy water can be prepared that is by electrolysis of water repeated electrolysis of water by fractional distillation and third is by ammonium nitrate fertilizer now next we have to see the chemical properties chemical properties of heavy water chemical properties of heavy water chemical properties now the chemical properties are similar to the water but it reacts slower than water the rate of chemical reaction is slower than water so you can write down it reacts similar to similar to water but rate of reaction rate of 
reaction is slower than water slower than water because it is heavy water the mass is more as a result the rate of reaction is also slow and it is also injurious if the it is taken internally by my uh, plants animals or human beings it cannot be taken internally because it slow down all the metabolic reaction which is taking place inside the body so it is not uh, it cannot be taken inside it is injurious to health and why it is injurious to health because it slow down all the metabolic reactivities which are taking place in our body so it cannot be taken internally by Animals or plants or human beings also. Next, we see the properties. First is electrolysis of water. Electrolysis of heavy water. Electrolysis of heavy water. Electrolysis that is similar to water. Two D two O on electrolysis. On electrolysis, it will give. Deuterium plus oxygen, D2 plus O2. D2 is produced by two products at cathode, and oxygen is produced at anode. Similar to water, water also on electrolysis gives hydrogen at cathode and oxygen at anode. In the same way, the electrolysis of heavy water gives deuterium on cathode and oxygen on anode. Reaction, reaction with metal. Second is reaction with metal. With metal, it also reacts with metal to give metal hydroxide and deuterium gas. So it will give Ca calcium deuteroxide. Calcium dioxide plus D2. It reacts with metal to give metal hydroxide plus uranium gas. Third, reaction with reaction with metal oxide. Reaction with metal oxide. It reacts with metal oxide to give metal hydroxide same as water na2o plus d2o it will react to give naod naod yahan to hai to hum bina lega to sodium deuteroxide sodium deuteroxide next fourth reaction with Reaction with non-metal oxide. Reaction with non-metal oxide. Non-metal oxide will give SO3 plus H2O. It will give D2 sorry D2 SO4. Deutero sulfuric acid. Deutero sulfuric
ड्यूटोरोसिटाइलिन सॉरी ड्यूटोरोसिटाइलिन प्लस कैल्शियम ड्यूटोरोक्साइड कैल्शियम कार्बाइड